Chicka chicka chew up. Never gonna stop. Itchy itchy goo means that I love you. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 greatest Disney Channel shows of all time. Merry Christmas, Lizzie McGuire. For this list, we'll be looking at the best TV series this network has been home to over the years. Anything that once aired on the Disney Channel qualifies for our purposes. Did we miss any of your favorites? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Liv and Maddie Everyone loves a good twin thing. Liv and Maddie is a newer Disney Channel show, but one that expertly takes its inspiration from that of its forefathers. It stars Dove Cameron playing the roles of two identical twins, our titular characters. Liv is a successful actress who moves home for the first time in years, and Maddie is the sister she comes home to. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to school with my celebrity sis. And we have the same face, yet she's the cute one. The show riffs on popular media like The Office and Parks and Recreation, with its use of some mockumentary-style elements. But the real draw is Cameron. She differentiates between Liv and Maddie so well, bringing life and fun to both characters and drawing us in. I told you to follow your heart. And my heart wants to be with you! I thought that's what you wanted too, remember? Sisters by chance, friends by choice? Number 19. Casey Undercover Don't forget to say hello to your father for me in prison, little toe. Because you're going away for a long time. <laughs> You probably remember Zendaya's stint on the Disney Channel for one particular show, and we'll definitely get to that later. But right now, we want to discuss one of her more underrated outings. KC Undercover stars Zendaya as a normal high schooler who is suddenly heaved into the world of underground espionage when she finds out her parents are spies. I'm saying you did this to me. You poisoned your own daughter. KC, do you honestly believe that I would ever poison anyone? Well, you did it to the enemy agent in Luxembourg. Think Spy Kids, but with a Disney Channel sensibility. As usual, Zendaya is funny and charming in the role, and the supporting cast around her leans easily into the show's absurdities, making it a joy to watch. Number 18. Shake It Up We told you we would get to the other Zendaya pick soon. Shake It Up is one of the classics of the later Disney Channel era. A lot of that has to do with the staying power of its stars. Of course, you have Zendaya, but Bella Thorne is also a star in her own right. I'm going to learn to be a pop star slash movie star slash anime cartoon slash singing toothbrush. The two appear as Rocky and Cece, teenage backup dancers on a Chicago series. We accompany the girls as they get into all sorts of trouble, their shenanigans often wild, but always lovable. Plus, there are plenty of stellar musical numbers throughout the show, something the Disney Channel has always been great at. We can make a change. It's our generation. Number 17, Jessie. I cannot believe I'm gonna have my own TV series. I'm gonna go call everyone I know. We all know the story. A girl with stars in her eyes dreams of moving to the bustling streets of New York City and making it big. The TV show Jessie's titular character was definitely a girl just like that, but New York turns out a little bit differently than she planned. On Jessie, the starry-eyed dreamer has to take a job as a nanny for four rich and sometimes frustrating city kids. Look, Bertram, I found a new nanny in the street. Can we keep her? But for how chaotic the Ross children can occasionally be, the selling point of Jessie is its heart. They may have spats, but they always look out for each other no matter how difficult things get. Number 16. Phil of the Future Time travel is a trope as old as time. But in the mid-2000s, Disney Channel used it to great effect. Phil of the Future is about the Diffies, a futuristic family that gets stranded in the present day. The show is quirky and very specific about what's different in the future, including the fact that humans now only have four toes. People in this century have five toes. Four. While that might seem like an odd detail, it's exactly the kind of thing that makes Phil of the Future fun. That quirkiness aside, the show establishes a great central will-they-won't-they they romance between Phil and Keeley. We do kind of hang out a lot. T together. <laughs> So someone could, you know, mistakenly think that we are one of those things. Yes. What more could one want? Number 15. So weird. Who said Disney Channel couldn't provide a teenage take on science fiction? I heard somebody say it was an accident. Someone spoke to you? 
That's right, it's time to get weird and talk about So Weird. The main characters of the show are initially young rebel Fiona and her musician mother Molly. Molly and Fiona move across the country while the former is on tour, having a bunch of creepy paranormal experiences along the way. But in addition to the strangeness of it all, the fact that Molly is a rock star also really works with the premise, with Mackenzie Phillips often performing. Music and sci-fi together? Sign us up. Number 14. Austin and Allie For some reason, the Disney Channel always seems to thrive on shows about teenage musicians. Austin and Allie is no different. It centers around the two titular characters, whose lives change when Austin gets famous off of a song that Allie wrote. The pair team up by the end of the first episode, and that's where things get really fun. I was thinking the chorus could go like this. Yeah, that'd be great. There's a bit of a will-they-won't-they they energy to their relationship initially, and eventually they get together, creating room for even more stories to explore. The leads have great chemistry, and we also get some pretty great songs throughout. Let me be a superhero. There isn't a place I won't go. Whenever you need me by your side, I'll be there, be there. In other words, it's a hit. Number 13. Good Luck Charlie Sometimes a cute baby is all it takes. But in the case of Good Luck Charlie, we think the whole cast is pretty stellar. In her mind, that stick, it's a, it's a, it's a sword. It's a, it's a magic wand. <laughs> what you got there, Charlie? Stick. The show centers around the Duncans, whose teenage daughter Teddy is crafting a video diary for the little adorable Charlotte. The titular Charlie, if you will. When coming up with the idea for the show, its creators wanted to go beyond making your standard kids' show to appeal to a wider demographic. Good Luck Charlie is equal parts funny and heartfelt. I don't have much money, but boy, if I did, I'd buy a big house where we both could live. If you ask us, we think they did a pretty great job creating something the whole family can enjoy. Come on, guys. Say it with me. Good, Good luck, Charlie. Number 12. Phineas and Ferb That's it! I know what we're gonna do today! This show was so popular, it lasted for eight years. And that's before new seasons were announced. Phineas and Ferb is one of Disney's animated offerings. Although it has an absurd bent to it sometimes, including a platypus who is also a super spy, the best parts are rooted in reality. There's something so familiar about two brothers getting in trouble over summer break. Wow, isn't this amazing? You guys better figure out a way to get us home, because if we don't get home, I can't bust you for this! Everyone understands the concept of the older sister, in this case Candace, who's fed up with her younger siblings. Lovingly, of course. The creators reportedly based the idea for the show off of their own experiences as youngsters during summer break, so there's no question why it resonates so well. Number 11. DuckTales Everyone loves Mickey Mouse and all of his pals, but this show follows the antics of some of the more ancillary Disney characters. It first began in 1987, winning over people everywhere by spotlighting Scrooge McDuck and his three rambunctious grandnephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. In the episodes, Scrooge, being the rich duck that he is, is always after a little more cash. After all the trouble I've gone through, I, Scrooge McDuck, deserve this treasure. But sometimes, the boys have to stop baddies who try to strip him of his wealth, too. DuckTales had another great run with the 2017 reboot, which more than delivered as well. Wait, do it, do it. Make Scrooge McDuck. Remember, no tricks, no lies, no trouble. Whichever iteration you watch, the adventures are always wacky, thrilling, and fun. Number 10. Gravity Falls Mixing the paranormal with a beautifully animated world, Gravity Falls works on every level. It chronicles the lives of twins Dipper and Mabel in the titular town. They're staying with their mysterious great uncle, and it seems that supernatural activity follows them wherever they go. Guys, come on. We said we weren't going to turn on each other. I think we all knew we were lying. No, 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 no. Hey, hey. In this way, the show has been noted for having a little bit of a Twin Peaks for kids energy, what with its mysteries and Pacific Northwest setting. 
Gravity Falls was a huge hit for Disney, cementing its place as one of the rare shows able to appeal not just to children, but to grown-ups too. Uncle Stan? Six. I trust you. Number 9. Recess Everyone knows that the most important part of the school day is recess. And we're not talking about actual recess. Excuse me, but is that kind of early for recess? Oh no, it's part of our daily ritual. We always go to recess at 10. But it's- oh, Come yeah. on, Gus, I'll show you around. We're talking about watching the television show of the same name. It was one of the quintessential cartoons of our childhoods, centering around a group of elementary school kids. We can all see ourselves in one or more of the students, and watching how they navigate societal truths, especially during that all-important break from the classroom, rings extremely true to life. Back then, it helped us feel seen. Today, it takes us back while still doing exactly that. What happened? We got older, our interests diverged, one accepts these things. But TJ was such a large part of my life, it seemed a shame that nothing would remain to remind me of our friendship. When a show is as smart, funny, and well thought out as this, it's hard to forget about it. Number 8. The Proud Family When it comes to this show, we couldn't be prouder to know it. You know I got love for you, girl. You'll always be my best friend. Really? Know that. When it began airing in 2001, it was a smash hit, and it remains one of the most game-changing offerings in Disney history. After all, The Proud Family was one of the first animated kids shows to feature a black family at the forefront of its narrative. Each episode features a healthy mix of humor and fun, while also tackling important issues. Separated by black and white. Separated by black and white. We realize now that that's not right. We love spending time with Penny Proud and her family, whether it's in the original series, the revival, or the film. Number 7. Even Stevens. Everyone loves a good sibling rivalry, and even Stevens never disappointed. Back in the early 2000s, we loved tuning in to see what sort of trouble these crazy kids would get into. The show focuses on a California family, but of course, it's siblings Ren and Lewis's constant bickering that really drives the plot. <gasps> my bed! Oh, I'm sorry! What? Oh! My soda! I'll clean it up. My books! Ow! My board! They couldn't be more different, and they spar mightily and brutally throughout the series. But at the end of the day, family is family, and they love each other in the end. There's also a great crew of side characters. And who could forget the musical episode? We Went to the Moon in 1969 is still a banger. We went to the moon in 1969, not 1970, but a year sooner. Number 6. Kim Possible. Call her, beep her if you want to reach her. What's the situation? High school is hard enough, but when you're also in the business of stopping bad guys, it's near impossible. But as her last name might suggest, Kim Possible makes it look easy. This animated show debuted to praise from both critics and audiences. It's easy to see why, because it has it all. It's funny, with great characters and plot lines, and a very cute love story in the mix, too. Plus, there's a stellar theme song from Christina Milian that we still can't get enough of today. Number 5. Wizards of Waverly Place What's that? A hat? Crazy, funky, junky hat, overslept, hair unsightly, trying to look like Kira Knightley. We've been there, we've done that, we see right through your funky hat. Before Selena Gomez was Mabel, solving crime in a New York City apartment building with Steve Martin and Martin Short's characters, she was portraying a teenage wizard. Wizards of Waverly Place follows the wizarding Russo siblings as they try to hone their magic while also concealing it from the rest of the world. While we now know that Gomez is a comedic talent, this introduced her to a widespread audience. Looking back, it's amazing just how funny she is. And the rest of the cast is great as well. Hey, Dad, where's Mom? Uh, doing what she always does when she's upset, venting to customers about what's wrong with her life. I, I mean, it's not like I have another daughter I could give my hopes and dreams to, you know? Anyway, corned beef. Having to hide a huge secret on the daily is always a great trope in a show, and Wizards of Waverly Place plays it expertly. Number 4. Lizzie McGuire How we wish that we too had a little cartoon consciousness. Lizzie McGuire was one of the Disney Channel's greatest hits back in the day, and most of that is due to the actress at its center. 
Hilary Duff is a star in every regard, and the show puts all her talents to good use. And you're, you're helpful around the house? You forgot kind to strangers. Yeah, she's that too. And don't forget, she's housebroken. But Duff isn't the only thing Lizzie McGuire has going for it. The show is your typical young teen comedy with a clever twist. We get to see Lizzie's thoughts come to life through a cartoon version of her that functions like her inner voice. These animated sequences give the writers room to play and provide some of our favorite moments of the series. Tomorrow, I have a date with Destiny. What am I gonna wear? Number 3. Hannah Montana She gets the best of both worlds. Most of the time, anyway. Miley Cyrus is such a household name now, it's hard to imagine a time when we didn't know who she was. But when Hannah Montana premiered in 2006, Cyrus was virtually unknown and had a lot to prove. Lucky for us, she was an immediate star. This is life. Hold on and this is the dream. It's all I need. The show sees her portray a regular girl, Miley, who is also secretly famed singer Hannah Montana. It centers around the stress of Miley's double life and often has her trying desperately to keep someone from finding out her secret. With great storylines, compelling characters, and a killer soundtrack, it continues to delight. Number 2. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody You know what my twin telepathy is telling me? You missed me. Some people might say that the Sweet Life on deck is the superior offering here, but we've got to go with the original. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody premiered in 2005 when Dylan and Cole Sprouse were on the verge of adolescence themselves. The twins play the titular brothers, who reside in the fictional Tipton Hotel. We're not exaggerating when we say this show has one of the greatest all-star casts in Disney history. Joining the Sprouses are the likes of Ashley Tisdale, Phil Lewis, and Brenda Song. Now, are you familiar with the gear shift? <laughs> you mean the Prindle? With them bringing their all and the slew of entertaining antics that unfold throughout the series, there's no shortage of hilarious moments. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Andy Mack – Complicated families always make for a great show. Andy, I'm not your sister. I'm your mother. Brandy and Mr. Whiskers. Friends who get stuck in the Amazon rainforest together stay together. My name is Brandy, Brandy Harrington of the floor. Ah! Oops. <sighs> you bonehead! One thing I like about our friendship is that we can be honest with our feelings. Oh, I'll show you honest. American Dragon, Jake Long. Puberty is hard enough without transforming into a dragon. Hi. Hi yourself. Hey, that's a really cool dragon tattoo. Actually, it's a birthmark. <laughs> Ant Farm. 11 years old and high school? Sign us up. Look, it can't be that hard to find another teacher. <laughs> I mean, Olive's 11 and she knows everything there is to know about history. Good idea. Olive will be the new history teacher. Girl Meets World. A spin-off that provides a new take on a classic we all love. When I own it, it doesn't make me feel so bad. Good. So, before someone can use their own flaws against us, Maybe it would help us to admit we all have them. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. That's So Raven Dealing with the realities of being a teenager is hard enough already. Well, come on, you don't want to break her heart. And this is better, Chelps. A broken woman searching for happiness at the bottom of an empty cookie bag. You might think that being able to see the future would make things easier, but if That's So Raven taught us anything, it's that that's not the case. While the titular protagonist's psychic abilities might not make things easier, they certainly do lead to hilarious antics. That's So Raven is one of the funniest shows the Disney Channel has ever given us, largely due to the comedic talent of Raven Simone. But besides its humor, we also love the family and friends at the center, and how the writers tackle difficult subjects. He said, the truth is, I don't hire black people. And there you have it. 
shocking evidence of job discrimination. Most of all, we love Raven's vision-getting look. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.